Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So guys, last time we had discussed the factorial number. When the user gives any value, so it finds the factorial of that particular value. So guys, today we are going to discuss another program which is very frequently asked in interviews. Write a program to find the Fibonacci series. To find the 10 values of Fibonacci series or maybe 15 values of Fibonacci series and so on. So how can we write a Fibonacci series in VBScript? So let me open, let me write an agenda for today. So yesterday it was uh, right, in the last video it was write a program to find the factorial of a given number. Let us uh, click on done for today. Let me write in another agenda. Write a program to find Fib Fibonacci series. Right? So let us put this in in progress. Let me save the agenda. Let me close the agenda for you. Let me open the new text document so that uh, we can write a program. So guys, what is uh, Fibonacci series, right? So Fibonacci series will be, will be a pattern like this. The first number is 0, the second number is 1. The third number will be combination of this plus the second value. So this plus the second value. So what will be the second value now? So 0 plus 1 is 1. So what will be the fourth value? Fourth value will be the 1, the sum of second and third. So it will be 1, sorry, 1 plus 1. That will be 2. So this goes so uh, this goes on and on. Let me write another value. So what will be the fifth value? So it is 1 plus 2. It will be 3. So what will be the sixth value? It will be 2 plus 3. That is 5. What will be the seventh value? It will be 3 plus 5. That is 8. Fibonacci series. What is the logic behind it? So let us see that today guys, let me delete the Fibonacci series which I wrote here. Let us write a prop program so that uh, Fibonacci series will be printed by the program itself. So let me take first variable as first val. Let me take the first val to be 0. I will tell you later in the program how this variable are used. Let me take second value. Let me put second value as 1. Let me take uh, an input from the user dynamically so that for how long he wants to see the Fibonacci series. How long he wants the Fibonacci series. How, what will be the length? If he wants up to 10 digits, 10 numbers. If he wants up to 20, if he wants up to 30. Fibonacci counter equal to input box enter the number enter the number that's fine so let us take a temporary variable temporary variable temp equal to temp Ampersand the first value we need the first value right control C control V and let us take VBLF in the process. Now now our main loop starts. Main loop starts so that it will calculate the first value present here 
with the second value and the count increment so that will type a proper Fibonacci series. So let us take a loop. Let us take a for loop here. So let, let me take an iterator as count. Count equal to, let me take from 1 to Fibonacci counter. So th this loop will be iterating so on so that uh, you'll get the list of the Fibonacci series. So let us take some one, one more variable so that it will maintain the counter. So let us take third, third val or some val or any, any number you can uh, give any meaningful number so that it will type only, it will only be summing up the numbers. So it should be first val plus a second variable. So let me write temporary variable temp equal to temp ampersand third value let me write third value here and always a vblf so that we can see the series clearly and now we have to give some more condition as the first value equal to the second value I'll tell you what it is so don't worry about it second value equal to third value and here loop ends and then we'll print will print our temporary. Let me um, save the program. So let me save the program as save as. Save as as uh, Fibonacci. Fibonacci dot VBS. Let me execute the program and for better understanding after execution we'll see how this thing works. Let me save this, let me close it, let me double click it, let me put the counter here, let me expand the screen. Yeah, for you guys to visible. So I need up to five numbers, five, it is not exactly numbers, I, I need up to the five layers of Fibonacci series. Let me click on OK. And you can see here it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, and 8. So, one more thing, guys, if we forgot to add here, it is uh, where we should also print the second value. So that it comes properly. And let us give VBLF here. So that uh, 0 and 1 are printed initially, and then Fibonacci series follows. So let me just save this. Let me close it. Let me double click it. So enter the number. Enter a number where for what length do you want to see the Fibonacci series? Let me put 5 initially. We'll see a different different examples later. Let me see, let us see the output. The output is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. Correct? So let us see uh, one more example here, Fibonacci. Double click it. 
let us see up to 10 digits right let me click it let me uh, let the fibula series come we'll we'll explain here 0 plus 1 the one in the third digit 1 plus uh, 1 plus 1 2 so 1 plus 2 3 2 plus 3 5 3 plus 5 8 5 plus 8 13 13 plus 8 21 31 plus 21 34 34 plus 21 55 and 54 plus 34 is 89 it is uh, the following fibula series the number what we have entered is the list here so let me just close this let me just open the logic let me minimize the screen first value we have, we have taken is 0 and the second value what we have taken is 1. The counter is a Fibonacci counter. So let us uh, make some more sense, right? Enter the number, enter the, enter the length of Fibonacci, Fibonacci series which which you want to see. Enter the length of Fibonacci series which you want to see is the apt question for the user to understand, right? He'll be uh, seeing this and he'll be understanding it, okay? This is the length which I want to see the Fibonacci series and he might enter 5 to 10, whatever the value. He might, he might even enter 1000 to see what is the Fibonacci series, right? Let me save this now. Okay guys, I'll put the code in the description where you can play around and give as as many as as many numbers as you want for the length of the Fibonacci series. You can play around with hundred thousand. You can see whether the values are coming correctly or not. You can test the logic of the program. If you find a different logic, let put me in the comments below so that if you have any doubts and i could clarify if you like this video please click on like button if you are a new viewer please click on subscribe till then guys take care have a great day bye bye